Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Joe Bamberger. I'm the Talent Acquisition Specialist for Clayton and McCurvey. I'm here today with Sabrina Ely. Um, Sabrina, why don't you please uh, introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Sabrina. I'm um, an industrial automation intern at Clayton McCurvey, and I started back January of 2021. And industrial automation, right? That's not your typical tax or, or audit internship. Tell us a little bit more about uh, the role you serve. Right. So um, I got the unique opportunity to be um, a part of the industrial automation team. So I kind of do both the audit and the tax part of that specific department. Um, I originally came in and in or and interviewed as an audit intern. So that's kind of where um, my focus has been, more of the assurance side of things. Um, but recently I've gotten more into um, research and development tax credit. So I will do some of those too. Um, but it's just been really fun to learn about the specific industry. Um, so yeah. And obviously we're, uh, we're operating in a time during COVID where our office is, is shut down. What's up? Uh, um, onboarding been like remote and working remote throughout the entirety of your internship? Yeah, so the training I was a little nervous for, a bit everything being online, um, but it was pretty smooth. Um, the company did a really good job having um, our first week really scheduled out, so I knew when I had to be on Zoom or Ring and um, like what we were going to be doing that day, what, we, what softwares we were going to be learning about. And it's been flowed really well, even though it's online. Um, going into it, I was kind of nervous about having to ask those small questions that would in person, I know would only take a couple minutes. Um, and I was scared about like having to set up a whole call just to ask like a two minute question. But there's direct messaging, but like video version of that on Ring. So that's been super helpful. I just text over Teams. Um, one of my bosses, if I have a question, they're like, oh, just hop on Ring with me and we can go through screen share. So it's been really good, um, really easy, a lot easier than I expected. And how's the culture been for you? What uh, what did you expect going in? What, what have you found since you've been here? Um, I love the culture. I love the team that I work with. Um, the I get along really well with everyone. Um, and um, we have the buddy system going in, which is really helpful just to get to know everyone. I was assigned somebody in the IA department, so he really helped me through and helped me with all the learning. And um, it's been just very welcoming. Everyone's super friendly. Um, they're always eager to ask my questions because I definitely have a lot, um, which is good. But yeah, everyone's super friendly and welcoming and helpful. That's good to hear. What does, uh, what does a typical day look like for you um, throughout your internship? Um, well, at the beginning, I was doing a lot of assurance side. So I would um, basically prep financial statements um, for different companies, kind of take the data that the client gives us and format it to the way that it makes it understandable. Um, and so, and then use our softwares to input that information so somebody can review it. But more recently, um, as the audit stuff is kind of wrapped up in March, I've been doing a lot more tax work um, with the tax credits. So kind of the same thing. I take just the information that the client provides and I take all that information and kind of compile it into a summary and try to see which, inf which parts of the data would qualify for these credits and which one it, and just putting Excel sheets into other Excel sheets. Basically, <laughs> I, I hear a lot of, of Excel um, through internships. Um, talk us about your Excel experience prior to coming to the firm. You know, what sort of things do you uh, wish you would have known more about um, before you know using it on a daily basis? Yeah, so especially as a sophomore, um, I didn't have that much Excel experience. I took one class as a freshman, but it was more of like a coding class, I would say. Um, but that was very helpful, just kind of understanding the basics of Excel, like learning like the logical side of if statements. Um, so going in, I kind of understood like the logic and like the thinking that goes into writing formulas for Excel. But 
I had to learn so much throughout the internship and Google was my best friend for that. My bosses were my best friend for that. They were helping me with VLOOKUPs, pivot tables, and my skills are just off the charts, I guess, compared to how they were when I started. So that was definitely a great, great thing to learn. And Excel is such a powerful tool. So it was definitely very important. Has there been any other tools that you wish you would have had exposure to or experience with prior to coming to the firm? Um, I wish in school they would teach us more about like the different types of softwares that accountants use. I feel like my accounting classes were very much, these are the formulas you have to learn. These are what journal entries are. And what I would found was that the software does a lot of that for you. So I wish that they would go over like, how the software does that or what different softwares people use and how like and how they work um because i feel like that's just much more applicable to the real world than having to memorize a bunch of formulas everyone has to start with a theory somewhere <laughs> and yeah true <laughs> and so you know as you know obviously a sophomore coming in what, what's what's been the hardest um part for you from an adjustment standpoint um, well, for classes, that was kind of a little bit to, um, figure out being a sophomore, but specifically for the company, I was definitely scared being so young, getting an internship. Um, I felt like I would be behind the other interns, but, um, it ended up being totally good. Um, my team was super helpful with me. I answered the million questions that I had. So I never felt behind. I never felt like I didn't know how to do anything. They were very um, supportive and definitely showed me the ropes and helped me get where I needed to be. Well, that's good to hear. And you know, you mentioned a little bit on the buddy program earlier. Um, walk us through how, how the buddy program works and um, you know how our mentorship program works. Yeah. So the buddy program is they assign you somebody younger, typically who went through the internship just a couple years before you did. And it's, if you're audit or tax, it's somebody in that department. But for me, I had um, an IA person um, and he was awesome, super helpful, was really definitely one of the most helpful people. He really, if I, he was the first person I went to, if I had any questions at the beginning, because he was understood, like the, he remember, because he was younger, he remembered all the questions that he had when he was an intern. So he really helped me out doing that. Um, and then the mentorship program, it kind of goes up from there. So you get a buddy and then you get your manager and then you get a supervisor. Um, and me and my manager work together all the time. Um, he's the one that typically assigns me my work. Um, and so it's kind of, you go up the tier if you have questions with that. So it was a really good program. It was really, it was really beneficial because I was worried that I wouldn't know who to ask if I had any questions. I didn't know if I would know anyone, but the buddy system made it really helpful. Just if I had any basic questions, I always asked my buddy. It's good to hear that there is that, that level of support there. Um, yeah. you know, talking about support and you know training throughout the process, um, something I talk about on campus a lot is our real-time coaching program. Um, share us with us a little bit about uh, your experiences with that. Yeah, so the real-time coaching is you fill out a form every week or two weeks, um, and it's basically just kind of a self-evaluation, what you feel like you could improve on, what you feel like you do really well, what you like, what you don't like, and then you meet with your manager or whoever you've been working with that week, and they kind of review it with you and ask you questions about what you liked in your work, what you haven't particularly liked. And that was really helpful for me because I went in and I ended up, I was assigned a couple of the uh, research and development tax credits, not thinking because it was the tax side. I didn't really think I would like that, but I ended up loving it. And because of the real-time coaching, um, I told them that, and now I'm getting assigned a lot more of that work, which I really like, and it's oh, it makes my job a lot more fun, I guess. <laughs> That's the goal, right? You know, the ability to have fun at work and, and enjoy coming in or, or working virtually every day is definitely makes things uh, worth it. Right, exactly. So with the internship wrapping up here in the next uh, week or so, what uh, what's what's next on, on the agenda for you? Yeah, so um, everything's wrapping up. So I got an offer for to come back next year, which is super exciting. Um, definitely have to look into my classes coming up because obviously I have to get a degree in order to get, pursue accounting. 
So, but I'm really excited for that offer. Um, definitely going to consider it, um, get everything in my classes worked out. So yeah, just keep on grinding through schoolwork and work experience. So one of the things that I get asked on campus a lot is, you know, in regards to the, the 150 credits. Um, mm -hmm. So obviously, you know, you've got a couple of years left of school. Have, have you mapped that out? Will you plan on finishing undergrad with 150 or will you be a little short? Um, no, I definitely have not fallen behind because of the internship. I'm just, I didn't take any classes um, in the winter when I did this internship, uh, but I'm replacing them all over the summer. And MSU does a really good job because so many of their accounting students do do winter internships that they have all these classes that, that you need to take during the summer. So I should be able to graduate within the five years with 150 credits. Um, nothing set me back, even though I did do 16 weeks of work here, which is crazy. <laughs> so you're... The plan is the, the five year program. Um, will you be finishing then with uh, the bachelor's and the master's throughout that five year? Yeah. So MSU has the all combined program, which is great. Absolutely. And in your experiences throughout the firm, right? This, this again, the reason I'm asking is that this gets asked a lot on, on campus, right? Not everyone finishes with 150 with an undergrad. And so they're debating, all right, do I, do I go the master's route um, to, to get mm -hmm. to the 50 or do I, you know, to take, take classes at a, at a community college? Um, have you gotten a sense with the, the, the staff members that you've interacted with? Um, what, what have they done? Do you notice that everyone has masters or it's a, a good mix? What's, what's been your perception? Um, at the company, I would say that almost everyone has done like the 150 masters and then done the CPA exams. Everyone there is a qualified CPA. Um, but I know at MSU, they've got the program that um, like once you hit your fourth year, you're kind of mixing in your undergrad and graduate classes. So it's kind of all just bunched together and you just kind of go through the five years. So that's kind of my knowledge on it. Obviously, I've got several years to before I even think about that, which is crazy, but that's what I know. Absolutely. And final question is, um, what has been your least favorite part of the internship? Um, my least favorite part was probably at the beginning when they had all the interns learn 1040 prep, um, which is like the general tax form. That was probably my least favorite part. That was like when I was like, OK, good thing I did audit instead of tax because I was like, I cannot just stare at these numbers and it was so tedious and in inputting them, but we'll see. It's coming up where I might have to do some of those. So maybe I'll in the last couple of weeks here, I'll have to do some, but that was probably my least favorite part. Gotcha. Well, appreciate you taking the time here today. Um, appreciate your, your honest feedback. I know that uh, future interns and, and students that we meet on campus will, will appreciate uh, your perspective on the internship. And uh, obviously we look forward to hopefully having you back uh, next year and watching you continue uh, your growth through the firm as you, uh, you complete school. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for letting me tell everyone. <laughs>